Saving ants and conserving their populations is a topic that often gets overlooked in broader conversations about biodiversity. Yet, ants are vital contributors to the health of ecosystems, and their survival is integral to maintaining the balance of various natural processes. These tiny creatures serve essential roles such as soil aeration, seed dispersion, nutrient cycling, and even controlling pest populations. However, like many other species, ants face threats from environmental degradation, climate change, habitat destruction, and pollution. Understanding these threats and working on ways to mitigate them can help protect ant species and maintain the essential ecological services they provide. The first step in saving ants is acknowledging their significance in ecosystems. Ants are one of the most abundant organisms on the planet and have colonized almost every landmass. They are involved in many biological processes that sustain other life forms. For instance, ants aerate the soil by digging tunnels, which helps plants get the air and water they need for growth. Some species, such as the leafcutter ants, play a crucial role in breaking down plant material, making it easier for decomposition to occur. In tropical forests, ants are key agents in seed dispersal, enabling the reproduction of many plants. By understanding their role, we can begin to appreciate the complexity of ecosystems and why ants are so critical to their functioning. One of the primary threats ants face is habitat destruction, primarily caused by human activities such as deforestation, urbanization, and agricultural expansion. Forests, grasslands, and other natural habitats are being rapidly converted into farms, roads, or urban centers, reducing the space available for ants to thrive. Many species of ants have specific habitat requirements, and when those habitats are destroyed or fragmented, populations can quickly decline. In addition, human-induced habitat changes often introduce invasive species, which can outcompete or prey on native ant species further stressing their populations. The solution to this lies in more sustainable land use practices. By incorporating practices such as responsible farming, afforestation, and the creation of ecological corridors that connect fragmented habitats, we can give ant populations a chance to recover and sustain themselves. Climate change is another significant threat to ant populations. As temperatures rise and weather patterns shift, Ants, like other organisms, must adapt to changing environmental conditions. However, some species are more vulnerable than others. For example, ants that live in high-altitude regions or specialized ecosystems may not be able to tolerate even slight increases in temperature. Furthermore, changing rainfall patterns can affect the availability of food and water sources, disrupting the ants' ability to forage and reproduce. Another challenge to the survival of ants is pesticide use. In agricultural areas, pesticides are used to control various insect pests, but they often do not discriminate between harmful pests and beneficial insects like ants. Many ant species act as natural pest controllers by preying on agricultural pests such as aphids, caterpillars, and other harmful insects. When pesticides are applied indiscriminately, they can kill off ant populations, which would otherwise contribute to keeping pest populations in check. Education and awareness also play an essential role in saving ant populations. Many people view ants as pests, focusing only on their potential to invade homes or damage crops. However, educating the public about the positive roles that ants play in ecosystems can help shift perspectives. Conservation efforts often focus on larger, more charismatic animals, but insects like ants deserve attention too. Public campaigns, school programs, and conservation organizations can raise awareness about the importance of ants, encouraging people to adopt practices that benefit rather than harm them. For example, Community-based conservation efforts can help protect local ant species and their habitats by reducing the use of harmful chemicals and promoting sustainable land use practices. Research is another critical area that can contribute to the conservation of ants. 
there is still much to learn about the diversity, behavior, and ecology of ants, and research can help fill in these gaps. By studying ants and their ecosystems, scientists can gain a better understanding of the threats they face and how to mitigate them. Conservationists can use this information to develop strategies for protecting ant species and maintaining their populations. In some cases, this could involve habitat restoration or reintroduction programs that help bolster declining ant populations. Moreover, research can help identify keystone species of ants that play disproportionately large roles in maintaining ecosystem balance, allowing conservation efforts to prioritize these species. Another approach to saving ants is the preservation of biodiversity at large. Ants are part of intricate food webs and ecosystems that involve plants, animals, fungi, and other organisms. When these ecosystems are healthy and diverse, ants tend to thrive. Conversely, when biodiversity is lost due to habitat destruction, pollution, or climate change, ants and other species are negatively affected. Protecting ecosystems as a whole, through measures such as establishing protected areas, enforcing wildlife protection laws, and restoring degraded habitats, can help ensure that ant populations remain robust. Biodiversity conservation efforts should focus on preserving the variety of habitats and species that ants depend on, from forests and grasslands to deserts and wetlands. Moreover, saving ants requires a multifaceted approach that addresses the various threats they face, from habitat destruction and climate change to pesticide use and invasive species. By adopting sustainable land use practices, reducing pesticide usage, supporting biodiversity conservation, and raising awareness about the importance of ants, we can help protect these essential insects and the vital roles they play in ecosystems. Efforts to save ants should also focus on the broader goal of preserving biodiversity and ecosystems, as healthy ecosystems are essential for the survival of ants and countless other species. Through research, education, and conservation actions, we can ensure that ants continue to thrive and contribute to the health and balance of the natural world. I hope so you will like the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.